had some story that happened that I think would lead right into this. And then I'm going to have Tom introduce our guests. Well, it was kind of, uh, it led into your book, The Fear Reflex. Ah, uh, yes. And you know, I've been spending some time up in the mountains and getting smarter with the mountain air. And I was out skinning in the back mountain, back country of where we're staying. And I ran into a woman I haven't seen in many, many years. And we were talking and I knew she used to work for uh, the National Forest and she was a ranger. And her husband was a wonderful man. May he rest in peace, Richard. Wonderful, wonderful guy. And he was actually the reason that we decided to get our place where we did. But I was, I was skinning, right? We've talked about the skinning that I'm doing now. You put the, the skin on the bottom of the skis and you actually go up the mountain and then you take them off and you can ski down the mountain. It's awesome. It's the fastest growing segment of, of uh, winter sports right now. And you can imagine why with COVID people trying to get out in the wilderness and such. But so I run into her and I start talking to her about, you know, how, where do I go? How am I, how, how am I to get up to the top of the mountain as opposed to, you know, being drawn back into other neighborhoods and such. And um, she was explaining it to me. And then she's like, but you know, in the summertime, in the summertime, it's way better. And I'm like, well, they got bears in the summertime, don't they? And she's like, yes, but don't mess with the bears. And I'm like, but shouldn't I be afraid of the bears? Huh. And she said, don't be afraid of the bears. And I said, well, what if they're hungry? They're not going to mess with you. And I'm, and I'm calculating this in my head because there was a time where I was hiking with my boys and I felt the presence of a bear. Was the bear there? Was the bear around? I don't know, but I felt the presence of that bear and it made me really, really anxious. And, it, mm. and I've had this running around in my head because I'm not a mountain person per se. This is a new phenomenon for us. So the thought of hiking in the summertime has always made me really nervous. And she eased that anxiety from me because of her knowledge. And she's, she said, yeah, I said, well, what if, what if they come at me? And she says, you mm -hmm. tell them to get back in the woods. And I'm like, what? Really? Like that, it, that works. You raise your hand and you yell at the bear. And she's like, yeah, but they're not going to mess with you. If they see you coming more likely than not, they're, they don't want to see you. They're going to go the other way. And it was really, you know, with COVID and all this fear and everything that's going on, it was really kind of nice and liberating to say, you know what? I'm not going to be afraid of that anymore. I'm not going to be afraid of the bear in the woods. That's not going to mess with me. And it's not going to stop me from going, summiting to each one of these mountains around here because that was my obstacle. I wasn't going to hike to the top of these mountains for fear that I might end up being eaten by a bear. Interesting. Yeah. So she was, she was the bearer of good news. <laughs> she was. She Sorry. absolutely was. That, was. that was a good solid seven. Stretch the canvas, brush with madness. Is it sadness or just a show that 